Welcome to 10 Minute Jobs. Today we're going to do the automatic transmission flush on a 2015 Terrain. We've got our Haynes manual here. If you come over here and look. 30,000 miles, change automatic transmit. Uh oh. Oh, it's still working. <laughs> don't mind us, we just don't know how to use a GoPro. Change automatic transaxle fluid and filter. So I did a little research and the filter, you have to drop the transmission, I guess. So we're not doing that. We're just gonna change the fluid, flush it out, rinse it out a little bit, real nice and easy. Cross your fingers. Um, 10 minute job, right? All right, so like I said, 30,000 miles. I think we're well above that. This is my wife's car. We will check where it's at. Oh, there we go, yeah, it's at 58. You can see right there. So, pop the hood. It should be well beyond. Um, my wife bought this car used, but we don't know if they ever did it. It was after 30,000 miles when she bought it here. That's for you. It's my son holding the camera, by the way. He's your videographer, so if anything's wrong with the video, it's probably my fault. No. Open the hood, right? And then, um, if I remember correctly, there is a fill down in there. Like a, yep, right there. So see that cap right down there? You gotta come around a little bit. I think you got it. Yep, that cap right there is the fill. Underneath, of course, is the drain. All right, so maybe everyone doesn't know how to jack up a car, so we'll go into that as well. So we're gonna start at the front with the jack itself. Get up under here and have a look around find a nice solid piece of material so this right here is frame we can jack on that you see right here there's an extra piece of steel even so that tells me in my unprofessional opinion <laughs> that i can jack it up right here you don't need a whole massive amount this is your transmission right here and so it looks like I will check this in the manual, but the drain it might be this little guy right here. If I remember, it was pretty easy to access from what I looked at. I think it's this guy here, as small as it is. I don't know if you can see that, but that's what we're after. So we don't need a whole lot of up in the air, but we're not just going to leave it on the jack. We're going to put the stands on. And those are going to go back behind the tire underneath the doors you could say that's your standard jack point jack stand point so go back there and if we look right here sometimes yep see this little arrow right here in the plastic yep right there that's telling you where to put your jack stand a lot of cars have that especially newer ones but otherwise, we're looking for the same thing, somewhere real solid. We've got our arrow, and we see underneath here, let me get that out of the way, right here. This is all welded together, steel from the unibody, the frame. So that's where we're gonna put our jack stand. Right there, the arrow. Again, we don't need a whole lot, but I wanna get one more tooth on this thing. So, Jacob, if you go jack it up a little bit more. Keep going. One more two. Keep going. Okay. All right. Bring it down nice and easy. Well, that wasn't so easy, but it's down. <laughs> By the way, the e-brake is on. You see, we've got the tire off the ground. That should be more than enough room for us to do our work. All right, we'll be right back. We're gonna get prepped for that later. All right, we're gonna talk about um, what tools you're gonna need and then the procedure. And so another part to that, that I guess everyone probably doesn't know, everyone's gonna learn at some point, is how to use your Haynes manual. I always recommend you get one of these for your vehicle. But if we go back to where it says change the transaxle fluid, it tells you right there, section 26. Okay, so we're gonna go there. 
So the sections were in one, chapter one. So we just go here, 25, 27, 26, right here. 30,000 miles, 30 months, right? Specified intervals before beginning week. We've already got the fluid, we have that. I'll show you that in a minute. I just bought some standard stuff from AutoZone. Um, other tools, floor jack, jack stands. Yep, raise it, support it. Place the drain pan underneath the transaxle drain plug. So, it says see illustrations. Which illustrations? Well, it says right here, 26.5A, 26.5B, go up here. There they are. Transaxle drain plug. So you see it right there. So, to find yourself kind of what are we looking at here, right? Well, right here, that looks like the engine drain, so your oil pan drain. But we're looking for this guy on the side, got an axle coming out this way from the looks of it. So those are the kinds of things we'll look for when we're underneath there. What's the next one? Five speed, three point lower. Oh, okay, I'm sorry, I missed something here. So we do not have the V6. Thought that looked a little different, honestly. Um, but we have the V4 here. Straight four, I'm sorry, not a V4. Inline four, so we're over here, six feet transaxle, okay? And it's that little guy I pointed out earlier. Look familiar, right? So there it is, that's what we're gonna be looking for. Uh, tools, standard, I mean, socket set. I always grab this little guy here, and at the very least, I can typically get the size I need, just grabbing these real quick. If I need something deeper, I'll go to the toolboxes. But over here, we've got a drain pan. Uh, to drain all the fluid out, we already saw where the fill is, we'll get to that later. So, next thing, I'll grab the fluid, show you that, while I'm thinking about it. So, I bought two gallons, so the recommendation was one gallon to change it, but like I said, I want to actually do a little bit of flushing, and flush out some of the old stuff, especially since we're not going to get to the filter, so that's why I bought two. What we'll do is we'll drain it. We'll fill it back up and then while the engine's running we'll flush it out so the color of this should be cherry red everybody calls it what it is pretty good description and what i'm betting we're going to see is some pretty dark black fluid but we'll find out here shortly okay on to the next one all right so we are at the drain portion so again i've got my socket set here i'm going to take a guess and say that's a uh, 10 millimeter. Ooh, I missed it. Maybe that's standard. Maybe it's a half inch. Not half inch, I'm sorry. Oh man, I'm messing up. Calibrated eyes aren't working today, but there it is. It's 11 millimeter. Interesting. So, stick that on my ratchet, of course. We're gonna go nice and slow. Get it loose. Got our pan ready. I'm gonna get it to where I can start working it with my hand. Right there, that way I don't lose the plug. So here it starts coming, let it go, yeah. See how black that is? We want that to be bright red and you'll see the difference when we get to that point. Wow. Yep, smell, so you'll smell a little burn when it's old and bad. So we'll let that drain, of course. Set. Plug over here to the side and the socket set. So while that's draining, we will look around and see if we can find the fill level. So what there is to tell you how much to put back in, is basically another plug, similar to that one, but it'll be pointing kind of horizontally. And what we'll do is fill it until it comes out of that plug. I need a little more So where did they put it? Under here. Those are all. Hmm, where is 
is it? I have to do a little more searching around to find this guy. I sure don't see it. Well, I'm gonna find it and we'll be right back with you. All right, so pretty sure I found it, the uh, check fill plug. Pretty sure it's behind this tire. The other thing I remembered, and because I read it in the Ains manual, gotta have it, is you want the vehicle level. That's the only way to get the level of the fluid correct. Because right now we just have the one corner up, and so the fluid, of course, is going to be off. So what I'm going to do is take this tire off, confirm that I have a position of the drain plug right, and then we will jack up the other corners. And I put those suckers on. Okay, so now down in here, oh, I should probably grab a flashlight. There it goes. Yep, bingo. Okay, see this guy right here? You see that? Wiggle your way through there, bud. <laughs> this guy right here, that is our fluid fill level. So once this drains and you might be able to hear it. Still draining. Once that's done, we'll put the plug back down there in the bottom, refill it, pull this out. And while we're filling it, and the vehicle is running, by the way. Okay, you got, the vehicle's gotta be running level. We start filling it. Pull this out until the fluid starts dripping out. All right, so as you can see, we're barely dripping. And since we're doing a flush, we don't need to wait for an hour for that to fully drip out or anything. So we're going to plug that up. Snug it up. Now you don't want to go crazy here. It's just a plug, just a little bolt. You go to factory torque specs, which is right about right there. Perfect. Got it. All right. So also while we're under here, Changed my mind after I looked at all this and thought about the fill and level check. So again, the vehicle needs to be level for that to happen. So what I'm going to do right now is make sure that I can still reach it. Where'd it go? From underneath. And I think what I'm going to do is put the tire back on. Put it back down on the tires. So that way I know it's level. Where is it? Help me out here. Can you see it? Oh, is this it right here? Yeah, here it is. Can you see that? Remember before? Yeah. Okay. So that's what we're going for for the fill level again. Okay. Not to be repetitive, but I can get to it from underneath. So that's what we'll do next. We'll throw this tire back on, drop it down. So it's nice and level. Start the engine. Because you've got to be at operating temperature to get a correct level check. So we'll start it up, give it, I don't know, three to five minutes, that's what the manual says, to warm up. And then you have to cycle it through the gears. So foot on the brake, don't want it going anywhere. Real hard on the brake, go to reverse, pause, neutral, pause, drive, pause, go through them all, and then back to park. And then we'll come under here and fill it till it starts coming out of that plug and we'll show you that now of course we're not going to start up empty because right now it's dry so i know because i looked at it it takes a gallon so i'm going to put about three quarters of a gallon in there because you don't want to run it dry right don't want to run it dry okay so that's what we'll do next all right so all right so like i said uh put the tire back on so in case you've never done this before Try to walk through step by step, but we're barely off the ground, so it won't be much lifting. But always want to start these, or at least I do, by hand. 
your lug nuts because the last thing you want is to cross thread one of these because then you're in big trouble. So what I'm looking here, see the studs through the tire. And I'm going to try to line them up with the holes. Just like that. So it's not always that easy, especially when you're higher up and you've got to lift the tire up. But we're so nice and low right now. So you just got to get them started like that. Just need a few threads and then the rest will take care of itself with the impact if you're going to use an impact which I am because I'm lazy so now I should cover this too you don't just want to start here and go around because the way it locks down onto the hub will not be even so a lot of you probably heard this but it's called star pattern you can start here or start anywhere but you always go essentially to the farthest nut. So it'll go to here and then to here and then to here and then to here. It's a star pattern. Okay. Very common. You don't want to go crazy. Just a bit like that. Just like that. Just keep going around. So now most of them are snug at this point. So now we can start putting a little bit more torque on them. Should be good enough. We will check those with an actual torque wrench because that's a safety concern. We don't want to skip that one. All right, so now I'm going to jack it back up, pull the jack stand out so we're nice and level. So, again, who can tell me where to put the jack? I want to be sure, right? Oh, yeah, you got it. The frame, some more solid. Make sure it's not plastic. You don't want to jack up on the engine if you can help it. That's not something you want to get in the habit of doing. Okay, so here we go. I'm looking back there at the jack stand until I see the vehicle come up off of it like it did right there. So if you run over there, grab that out of the way. I use it that drop it like that. Pretty simple. I'm sure you already know that, but maybe some of you don't. All right, so now I'll let it down easy. Watch this. <laughs> just like that. Okay, just let it come down. Nice and easy. And every jack is going to be different. So it's not all his fault. Don't get mad at him. It's just a bolt. <laughs> okay, so now we're level. We're sitting level, right? So like I said, we got to start the engine, warm it up, run through the gears to get that level check. But we don't want to do that when it's dry. So come back up top here, if you remember, we pointed out this fill level. What? You can talk. You want to hold this? Yeah. So down in here. See that cap right here? Mm -hmm. Try to get my hand out of the way. Right here. Okay. I'll pull that off. Okay. Out of the way, we don't want to lose it. It's good. We got a nice long funnel. Well, I didn't get a long funnel. Be right back. All right, come back. Bigger funnel. Right at that hole. Come around here, and you can see lined up with the hole. Right. Okay. Well, for one thing, I don't like the look of that didn't get cleaned. So I'm going to clean that out, pop it back in there, and then we'll start filling it. So we got it cleaned out, took some air to it, wiped it down. So the last thing you want to do when you're trying to clean the fluid is put dirty stuff back in there. Again, feed it down in there. You want to be showing down here, bud, where it's going. Yeah. Right down there. So we're in the hole, right? Let me set this up. Let's see what's going on here. Grab a fluid. And here, you're about to see the difference in color. Remember how black that was? All right. Now, this is a pro tip, if you will. These foil tops 
So a lot of times, and I used to do a big culprit of this, I used to do this, just jam your thumb in there, start dumping, right? But what I have found out that can happen, by the way, there's that bright red, is that this foil can break off, get down in there, you dump it down into your engine, if you're doing oil, transmission, if you're doing transmission fluid like we are, and then what's gonna happen? Bad things. Bad things are gonna happen. All right, anyways, just a tip. All right, so we've got here, get that light back out of there. Put this, I don't know if you can see this level, is what I'm trying to show. This little dark line right there. All right, there we go, see this? I'm going to move it so you can see it moving. All right, so this thing is one gallon. This jug is one to get gallon. That's what the transmission takes. I'm going to do three quarters so that we can top it off while I'm watching. All right? So let me do it this way. Can you see the fluid? See how bright red that is? Try to move the light around and clear even. And what did we get out of there? Solid black. Gross. Is what we want and if you could smell it do you smell that mm -hmm. so again i'm going to do about three quarters all right and so when you're checking this by the way it matters how you hold it it's trying to be level i can see it bouncing right here hopefully that comes through on the camera but we're at two out of four okay quarts right so i'm going to do one more quart give me 75 percent three quarters like that still not quite there about a quart and a half Let's see if we got it there see it bouncing right around the one quart line it's hard to see probably there we go hopefully you can see it like that i'm going to show you the one quart okay so that's oops three quarters put your lid back on so you don't make a giant mess don't ask me how I know. Now what we're going to do is kind of let that drain out again, trying not to make a mess. I'm going to stick this back here. And as I lift this out, try to get a rag on it. Jiggle it, jiggle it. Pull it out. All right. I'll put that plug back in. Set this down. Prop it up. So it drains on the rag. Where'd my cap go? There it is. So, I know we still have to fill this. Why are you putting the lid back on? Well, we also have to run it for about five minutes. I don't want junk falling down in there, right? Don't want that. So, capped it off. We've got our drain plug, right? We know where our fill level is. We filled it with about three quarters the way full. So, now we're going to fire it up, let it warm up. Once it's warmed up, we'll run it through the gears, and then we will start the actual level checking process. And at that point, it's up to you. You can be done there. You've put in new fluid, but most people like to flush out the entire system, right? That's a matter of opinion, I'd say. Okay. So let me fire it up. Don't get your wife's car dirty. should have given you that volume before what it sounded like beforehand compared to contrast all right sounds good to me right now we will have to top it up of course do a double check of our drain plug make sure we're not leaking anything underneath so let's do it i don't see anything all right so we'll be right back once this warms up all right um so warmed up more than good enough so we don't have clean up, we don't have a temperature gauge for the transmission but i'm going to go off of the coolant level that's roughly good enough how about that we'll call it that yep you're looking at it i'll take that thank you we're not there okay nice and warmed up it's been probably three or four minutes we were setting up the next shot for the fill and we're almost out of battery hmm. well now we're going to go ahead and get it done 
foot hard on the brake, vehicle's level, we're gonna cycle through the gears. Just pause in each gear, let it fully shift, you can hear it. And manual's the same thing, there's no point. You want me to show the arm? Yeah, you'll get there. So back through. So this makes sure the fluid cycles through the entire transmission so we get an accurate level. All right, so yeah, go up there, show them that arm. We'll shift the linkage arm. Yeah. So we cycle through the gears, so now we can go about the process of actually checking the level. We're gonna have to set that shot up, so we'll be right back. Okay, so. I think we got this lined up. Hopefully you can see. That's our fill level plug right there. I've got the wrench on it. And I'm going to open it up. Hopefully I'm not screaming at you right now. My face is right up against the camera. I'm going to open this up. And the boy's up there. With the jug and the funnel like you saw earlier. I'm going to tell him to start filling here in a second. Pull it out. See nothing comes out. Okay, start filling it up. Got the drain pan ready underneath this. And there it goes, just like that. So this is kind of another way to flush some of that out. See how black that is? It's not the best way, but it does work a bit. You put the whole thing in? Yeah. Okay. So what, we don't want it pouring out, we just want it dripping out, and that will be our level. Alright, so you saw the level just dripping out now. So again, we want to come back in here. Cycle through the gears. And then we'll double check our work. Alright, we're back. So, put a little bit more in. Ah, oh, I can't get my arm in here. We're gonna drain. Oh, I tightened it up. Let's see. There we go. Okay. There we go. See, it's still pretty dark, but the mass, vast majority is brand new, believe it or not. And this is maybe not the proper way to flush and change as far as flushing it all out of course but again the vast majority of the fluid in there is brand new and we're gonna be fine with that go ahead and put some more in so you're gonna see it start coming out faster yep there it goes just like that all right all right now we're making a mess I don't know. We are making a mess. He put a lot in there, didn't he? <laughs> but you might be able to tell. It's probably real hard to see on here, but it is actually clearing up a bit. Better than it was, that's for sure. Check in here. Do it. This time I'm going to tighten it down, of course. And don't go crazy on me. Just the plug. I don't want to strip the thread. That would be a nightmare. Just like that. Alright, here we go. Top off. That, uh, that wraps it up. Um, that's all we got to do. We've got it shut down. We'll double check the level as you saw. Funnel out of the way, put it away, went down a bit. And then don't forget, put your cap back on. Put that on here. Put that on. Don't go gorilla on this either. Nice and snug. Wipe things down. Don't leave that in there. And we are complete. Tight change transmission fluid 2015 GMC terrain four cylinder. Um, that's standard maintenance, if you will. 
regularly scheduled maintenance. There is lots more, of course, but I just did all the standard stuff, such as the oil I did maybe a month and a month and a half ago. Along with that, I did the filters, cabin and engine filter. What else did I do? Check the brakes. Oh, one other thing I do need to do is, by the way, we're prepping for vacation trip, uh, 20 hour trip. So one of the main reasons I'm doing that, we're gonna rotate the tires. That will be on the next video here on 10 Minute Jobs. That was video number one. Yeah. <laughs>